a full HD video projector with crazy good sound. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Wanbo Mozart One full HD video projector. And I gotta say, it has a really nice crisp image. It's super easy to work with, but the standout here is it not only has really good sound, but it gets ridiculously loud. It gets so loud that I haven't yet tried full volume. I'm gonna have a huge detailed demo a little later on, but let's start by giving you some specs and showing you a little bit about it. So, first off, there's actually a self-contained unit inside that's sealed and it's a five piece all glass lens. And the benefit of their sealed system, which they call their Pixel Pro 5, is uniform illumination. It's sealed and most importantly, dust proof. It has quiet heat dissipation. You can't even really hear when this is on at all. Auto focus, auto keystoning, one touch screen alignment, auto obstacle um, avoidance. It's really pretty amazing. And as you can see, the outside is pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of buttons or things you can adjust. So on the side here, that's the reflector for the speaker. And as you get the volume pretty loud, you'll see that start shaking and vibrating, kind of exciting. And then on the back, there's just a couple of input ports. And then finally on the top is a power button. And then there's this little hidden hinge on the bottom for you to actually be able to position it exactly where you want. That's the whole unit. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And in fact, let me just turn it on and you can see it really is pretty easy to work with. Now on the wall behind my camera, I'm seeing the Wanbo logo already. So I'm not sure that's going to be entirely conducive to us recording. So let me see if I can turn it off. There we go. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'll turn it off as soon as it finishes its warm-up sequence. But in the meantime, it is at full 1080p HD at 3000 to 1 contrast ratio with 1920 by 1080 native resolution. It also supports HDR10 and you can plug in your PlayStation 5, your Xbox, your Switch. Now you're starting to really see it getting a little confused. So let's see if I can just turn it off. Now, it's not quite ready to turn off yet, so um, it is 900 lumens. That's why it looks so darn bright. Let's see if I do that. That's better. So it's, there we go. Okay, so it has finished its warm-up sequence and said, oh, really? All you want to do is turn me off? Okay, and it turned itself off. So that was nice. 900 lumens. Now I'll tell you, I've looked at a lot of video projectors that are like 100 lumens, 150 lumens, and in a pitch dark room, they work okay. But this is bright enough, you can use this in the daytime. Now, it's gonna give you better results at night. And in fact, the demo I'll be giving you in just a moment, I did at night and I did it super easily. I literally just put a screen, I just taped it to a wall and then I used the wall in my kitchen. So there's windows, there's other lights, and it was still super bright and crisp as you'll see. Now, it has an eight plus year light source span or life. So when you get this, you can use this a ton and really have no worries. And I think when they measure those sort of numbers, that is with a lot of use. And my experience is most people use these on special occasions, right? So you have a outdoor party or you have a pool party or you're you know, at a hotel room or you have an event you're sponsoring. And so then you use this, but then it probably sits on the shelf for a while. So realistically, that eight years is probably going to be 10, 20 years, probably longer than you'll be using it. And then, you know, in 20 years, well, I'll just have little goggles and it'll be 3D and we'll be interacting with it. Until that point, this is a really nice piece of hardware. <laughs> so it features two 8-watt speakers and it also supports Bluetooth. So you can actually hook up an external speaker if you want. And on the back, let me show you again those ports on the back because... It also includes a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, so you could ostensibly use it with headphones or earbuds too, which makes it really an interesting thing for gaming. So you could plug in your Switch or your Xbox and you could have it projected on your wall or your ceiling and then have your headphones on and it would be a pretty glorious experience, very different to what most people are doing with their gaming.
now. I've already told you about the Pixel Pro 5.0, and I'll tell you it is another device running what I can, as far as I can tell, Android TV. And so you get all of those different apps, and they're at relative levels of ease to configure. I found Netflix really easy to work with. I found Plex really easy to work with. But Amazon Prime Video, I had to go to the remote and switch it into mouse cursor movement mode to get myself to be able to log in to Amazon Prime Video. Once I'd done that, then I was back into regular mode. And in fact, I should point out, it comes with this very elegant remote and you can see there's not a ton of buttons on it, which is nice. It makes it easier to use in dark environments. So I'll be demoing this as part of that demo. In fact, let's just switch to the demo. So here we are, I'm gonna set this up, is we're gonna be using this at night, uh, just projecting on the wall in my kitchen. And I wanna highlight before we get here, two things. Number one, that the company says that Netflix doesn't work at full HD with this setup, though as you'll see, it looked beautiful as far as I could tell in the demo, so I'm not sure what they mean by that. That might be something where you are a specs person and you might be looking at the different specs and details. From a usability perspective, totally nothing to worry about. The second thing is as part of my demo, I actually use the HDMI to get my computer screen projected. And then I use my phone in wireless mode and I use Apple AirPlay to push the image onto this. And my camera has a hard time keeping up with that because it gets super contrasty. So when you watch that little portion, you'll be thinking, well, it's a little hard to read the text. It's my camera, it's not the projector. Now, with that said, let's get to that demo. To demo the Wanbo Mozart One projector, I thought it'd be fun to just put a sheet up on the wall in my kitchen. And as you can see, it's pretty basic in terms of setup, but let me go ahead and turn off the light so it's a little darker and you'll see that 900 lumens really pops. And it's just a nice, big, bright image. Now, let's zoom in a little bit so you can just see the top of the projector, but mostly you can see the image. And now I can use the remote control so I can go up, see it's on the left side, and I can choose an app. We can go into Netflix, for example, and pay attention both to the speed and the audio. It is crazy loud, so we should get the Netflix sound. Nope, we didn't get it this time. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But let's see, let's just pick something. We can just do Resident Evil and just get that start. So let's start the video and you can see it's very snappy, which is really nice. A lot of these projectors tend to be really slow, which takes a lot of the fun out of it. But this, we can't watch too much of this because I definitely don't have the rights, but we can turn the volume up. Ah, that's why. So I'm going to turn it up just to 33, 34. And what you're hearing is the audio coming out of the actual Mozart one. And it's really loud. I mean, <laughs> I don't even can't even imagine what it would be like to have it up to 75 or something. It's really loud. And I still have the remote control, so I can still make changes anytime I want. So... I think we're far enough into this movie that you can see a little bit of just how clean and crisp it is and of the audio. So let's go back and I can go back and you can see once I leave Netflix, I have already downloaded and logged in to a bunch of other services, including my own Plex server. And you can use it just for music by using Spotify. Actually, there's a Spotify app, but there's more fun to be had here. So for example, let's go over to the left and let's change inputs. And I actually have my Mac system hooked up via this HDMI. So if I turn that on, then now you can see this is just a web page. So all of a sudden I have a second display or I could mirror my primary display and then I could project it to 
you know, the wall of an auditorium or something. And it's really cool. And this is a good spot to demonstrate how there's also a self-focus system where there's button on the remote. And I can say, that's not quite in focus. And I can push it and it'll just tweak it just a little bit. See that? And then I can do it again if I want until it looks really crisp to my eye. And this is a live web page. You see the mouse. And if I want to check the weather, for example, I can just click here. And now, of course, this is a function of my internet connectivity speed. But look how crisp and clean and easy this is to read. This is eminently usable in that regard. And so we have that. And when I'm done with the HDMI, if I just push the home button on the remote, then I'm back here. But there's even more because now let's go to my phone and I have an Apple iPhone, but Android does the same sort of trick. And what should happen? I should momentarily see the projector and it just comes up as something called eShare. And there it is. And so now here's my iPhone screen and I can show you things and say, for example, oh, I don't know. Let's go to Yelp. I was just looking for Mexican restaurants and I can go through here and I can share this and it's just crisp and easy to read and on the screen, I mean on the wall, it is enormous <laughs> and it works really well and I can go to a different app. Let's go to photos and hopefully I have a reasonable photo here. Whoops, let's unselect those. Here is one of my cat. And then if I turn it sideways, one more tweak, let's turn it sideways. And then notice that portrait mode for sharing is so much better. And look at that. What a great way to be able to share photos from an adventure you had with your friends. All of this wirelessly. My phone is just talking directly to the projector. And again, when I'm done, I can go back and turn off sharing if I want or mirroring as they call it. Or I could have just pushed the home button on the remote. Now, there's more things you can do and the projector has a lot of different settings you can access. So you can get into like projection method if you wanna rear project, which is not a common configuration nowadays, but it'll support it. You can project upside down if you mount it off the ceiling. There's Bluetooth. You can use Bluetooth for audio out, change languages. You can see it's an international sort of device and common settings make it easy for you to say, well, let's look at what are my picture options. So let's see. So I can adjust color temperature. I can pick a different picture mode if I want. And it's interesting that the picture mode comes with this audio here so you can see the difference. Let me turn that volume down a little bit. But when you adjust the sound, it doesn't actually give you sound, which I thought was kind of amusing, but it's an interesting video choice for them here. And I have it on Vivid, but to my eyes, the differences are very subtle. So this might be, there we go. So you can see it's a little less um, bright. If we go here, it's maybe a little bit too bright and then we have just a standard setting and super easy to work with if we're done with that we can go whoops <laughs> i did that last time too so and then we can go to sound and like i said on sound you can turn on and off different things you can try different balance i have it set to movie because i like that big extravagant sort of sound but if you want to be watching a football game or something, imagine projecting this on the wall of your garage and having all your friends hanging around and watching it too of an evening, like a night game or something. Fantastic. Anyway, that's a lot of demo. So let me jump back on camera and talk just a little bit more about the tech and the specs and then give you some summary ideas in terms of my review and my feelings on this terrific projector. Pretty impressive results if I say so myself. And the idea that I can just turn this on and project it on any blank surface and just get going and it auto focuses, it auto keystone adjusts, and it gives me that bright, vivid HD signal. Really, really nice. Now, I wanna say it also works with Wi-Fi 6. 
It has two gig of on-unit storage and supports up to 32 gig of external storage. And it supports AirPlay, Miracast, and Android. So there's a lot of ways you can wirelessly push video content onto the device and then have it project for you. So I demonstrated that with my iPhone using AirPlay, but there's a lot of ways to do that. And that's really cool. As you saw just before I ended the demo, it would be an amazing way to show someone, here's the pictures of this event that I just attended, or you know, here's the pictures of the new puppy on his first day of life, things like that. And it would just be really fun and very modern and high tech to be projecting it on a big image, but not have any wires involved. So size wise, it's pretty big. It is 8.7 inches by 6.9 inches by 8.2 inches and it's 7.7 pounds. So this is not the easiest thing to lug around. I wish they had a handle. They don't. That's another thing that you should know. Um, it doesn't come with a case, but you can certainly improvise a carry case easily enough. And the remote, you need to supply your own two AAA batteries. I wish the remote had somewhere it could clip or store. That would also easily be remedied with some two-sided sticky tape and Velcro. You could just have it sit here and then know exactly where it is when you need to use it. Really easy. I'm a big fan of this. I've been reviewing a lot of different video projectors and a lot of them are either underpowered, which is they just aren't bright enough, or they're really, really expensive. I mean, some of the really expensive ones are glorious, but this is a really remarkable integration of a lot of high-end features, including full HD and actually a highly affordable price. Now, before we get to the price, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I get my hands on a lot of tech and I am always honest and straightforward in my reviews. So I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and give me feedback. Leave a comment if there's something else you wish I would have demoed or you thought my demo could have been better. That's cool. Just let me know what you think. Uh, thumbs up if you liked what I've done here. Always appreciated. And so this is the Wanbo Mozart One full HD video projector and it is $399.99 at wanbostore.com. Now I want to say for under $400, this is a heck of a good deal. This is a really nice projector and a, you know, not only does it have a bright, crisp and extremely attractive image that you can project really big, but the sound is ridiculous. I mean, I've been using this to watch movies and I've had the sound down at like volume level two or volume level three and it's been fine for me. So I don't know when you would use volume level 80 or 90 or something. I mean, you'd need to be in the auditorium or something for it not to be too loud. But the fact that it can do that is so wonderful and have really good sound versus so many units where the speaker's like that big and you're going to get a tiny little plinky sound regardless. And that just doesn't really work for gaming. It doesn't work for movies. It doesn't even really work for YouTube videos. So lots to like here. Definitely one to check out. That's all I got. I'm going to go back to my movie. So I'll catch you in my next video.